Hey everybody, uh, Mitch here again of the 8-Bit Heroes, and of course, BK's here with me as well. I'm here. Got another challenge for good old BK, uh, probably the toughest challenge that I have to offer. Uh, for anybody who checked out our video of Bryce being challenged with Platformers Delight, you'll know that those are those are some tall words yeah. to be measured up to, but I think Linear Labyrinth is going to... Uh, it's going to hold true. No clears on this one either, I see. I'm not surprised. Somebody was nice enough to give me a star. Must have been a uh, pretty serious masochist. But this level is, uh, it does have a sub-level. First one I made with a sub-level. And it's half underground, uh, half ghost house. Because that's how much I love you. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> half underground, half ghost house, linear labyrinth, and it's harder than platformer's delight. Well, I am uh, thoroughly intimidated at this point. And that means I'm very excited. So let's check it out. Course IDs below. Uh, you guys feel free to check it out. Definitely encourage you to do so. But first, let's see what you're getting into if you decide to. See if we can't bump that clear rate up to yeah. something greater than zero. Something greater than zero would be good. And as the name would imply, much like Platformers Delight, while there are puzzles, and there are, now I see you're ready for that now. Yeah. <laughs> while there are puzzles, it's, it's very linear. You're going from one pipe to the next the whole time. Okay. How you get there? <laughs> That's uh. Oh, okay. I like it. Yep, yeah, yeah. I see. Give you a little clue there. Get back up here. I bet I can with a triple jump, maybe. Yeah, but. No, we might could, but that's not uh, what you'll need to do. Hmm. <laughs> Now this is one of those jumps that's pretty much pixel perfect. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, so you gotta walk it with the spin. Yeah, now in the interest of time, you do not have to do this with a running jump. Oh. You can do it standing right there and wall spin or spin jump and then wall spin and there oh. you go I made it way too hard yeah okay. you build your momentum up yeah uh, and it gives you enough to get over like I said it's just enough I was making it too difficult nice uh, done I like that <laughs> I like that just enough space to do what you gotta do okay that's three areas down welcome to the real stuff Okay. I wanted to see what was coming out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. No, oh, you're wasting time. Go, 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 go. I feel so bad right now. Because I needed that other piece switch. <laughs> oh! No. Alright. Well, am I trapped? Yeah, you're 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 done for. I think. Hold on. No, you are. You're you're I done am. for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? No, look at that. You can make it. I think if you can make it across there, I think you can run right across. Ah! It. That was not how I intended you to get across. Okay. But you learn something every day. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a there's a yeah, and you you timed your jump just right for that. You lucked into that. One. <laughs> um, you notice that very first P switch comes out of a blaster. Yeah, and there's a reason. And there's for that. it replaces you it. You have to stomp on the first one, grab catch another the one. second one. And, and then, since yeah. we think so much alike, the fact that I <laughs> thought to do that should have told me go ahead and do that. Right. <laughs> uh, but I got lucky. Yeah, you did. I and in that situation, I gave you what you needed, and apparently a little morsel more. Yeah, there you go. Just not something I like to do. <laughs> oh. Now here. <laughs> uh, here, not so much. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I hope you liked that. I did like it. Because it's not the last time you're going to do it. Uh, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I want to jump off him, but I also want to just keep going. There's really no purpose for jumping off of him. Uh, there was an accidental shortcut there, so I raised that block up a couple of places and oh, okay. put him there so that you couldn't just jump up there and avoid the, uh, the wall kick. Clear me a path, friend. That's what he's there for. See there for more? Do I need to keep this too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that mean. Although I did think about 
leaving a hidden block right there where you're standing now, uh -huh. so that if you kept him going, he would bust block all the blocks path. for you and then block your path. So you have to stop You'd have him. to do a spin jump on him and bust him. Oh, okay. Um, would be the only way to press on. Yeah. He decided to, to be kind. Yeah. So that's two ounces of mercy. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes! Yeah, and that oh, part's boy. much easier than this part. Oh, first try! Yes. I don't believe it! <laughs> you are rolling right along, sir. Oh, man. That was, you know what you I love that. Here. I just love the, the spinning the sp wall yeah. jumps. That's the thing, man. With this play style, Mario is like a secret agent. I mean, he can just... He's got so many uh, little tricks up his sleeve. Uh-oh. Say hello to Yoshi. And I think I'm probably going to promptly be saying goodbye to Yoshi. Because I think this is going to take a ditch jump. Unless I'm missing something. Uh... Sorry, friend. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Yeah, um, unless you can get back to the pipe and reset that block. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. I was, I was just thinking, man, I hate to, to reset. I hate to reset after uh, making it through, those, buzz through those buzz saws, again. I don't know that I'd be able to do it so easily next time. I'm not certain that this works. I'm pretty sure it does uh, work. No, oh, okay, the block's still taken. Yeah. Well, that's a restart. That's a hover ditch Ugh. jump wall jump. Yeah, Just okay. so you know. <laughs> gotcha. And I was doing so well. Yes, you were. Much better than I expected. You made this stage look easier than Platformer's Delight, but, you know, it got you all warmed up. Uh, yeah, I think Platformer's <laughs> Delight just has me uh, in that place. It loosened the proverbial pickle jar. Yeah. Alright, here we go. That looks a lot scarier than it plays. which, But I still like, and you, there, you still can mess up there, but in any event, I, I like that. Okay, so we're going to try this time to uh, see if we can do this the way it was intended. Give me another, give me another. All right, here we Be go. Be patient. You hear that music? There's no time for patience. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know you're gonna want to stomp on the P switch on this next platform. Indeed, and I wouldn't have had time to do it anywhere else. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay, so now I've got a little coin path. Exactly. That makes sense. And I probably need to. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you lucked into it again. Oof. See, now originally I put those bricks there just to be nice and give you coins. Right. Now you're making me feel like I need to take them out and repost it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And it, does, it doesn't look like a... Uh, I give mean, you an you, inch you may... take a mile. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you may even have people give up there if, if they haven't seen this video. Mm -hmm. If they get on those bricks and they have to cross from that third brick over to this platform, yeah, they might go, oh, okay, going to have to start this over because I didn't know if I'd be able to, to clear that. Yep, don't have any room to get any vertical leap. But I made it. All right, here we go. See if I can. Uh... Uh, there we go. And of course, you already learned the trick with the uh, little buzz stalls there. Yeah. Um, but not to say that it's going to be easy. Yeah. Just remember, just to barely tap that jump button. And yeah. I left I left those coins there as a kind of a guidepost. You can grab every coin. And then once you've grabbed the last coin, that's when you're good to jump. Right. And I hit the little one-up brick there. I'm glad you found it. Uh, makes me think other people might find it as well. Yeah. You're going to need your three free tries on this one. Yeah. If you're unlucky enough to encounter it. Ah! Uh, thought maybe I should have uh, backed off of the commentary a little bit there, give you a little bit of room to focus. Now I try sometimes to just take advantage and yeah. breeze through while somebody else is talking and but it's like listening to music while you play Flappy Bird. Right. Which you that get about ten thing. times as far. Which for most people would probably be about a score of ten. A score of ten. Ten times as far, yeah. Uh, I still have... Oh, wow. Okay. So like It'll I get said, you. <laughs> it can get you. You let your careful. guard down, it will get you. And just... Uh, 
kind of uh, further proof, not that I needed it, further proof in my mind of the, the maker handicap. There's a video on my phone of me beating this level in probably about two minutes. Nice. And that's just because I know every block, every jump, practically every pixel. Right. As long as you make it here. Yeah, and you that's do. exactly how I do that part. That way, you get some free coins on the oh, way down. Oh, no, no, no! Mm. Get it! Oh! oh. Keep going! <laughs> I think I've messed myself <laughs> up. I no, took too I mean, much time. As long as you hit the, as as you hit the switch on that last... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to walk it. As long as you hit the switch on that right platform, that last bit's going to be the same every time. Right. It resets your music. Now, I, that you you could not have had much time left to spare on hitting, hitting that, that piece yeah, switch. Not at all. I like that part. That's because I feel like a lot of people would get to that and go, "Well, how am I supposed to cross this?" Yeah, and if but, you if you can't figure that out, then it's probably a mercy. Oh. Probably a mercy to just have you go ahead and, and quit it there. Yeah. Now I'm just making stupid mistakes. Okay. Yeah, this part is... Uh, I'm even psyching myself out on this part. Aw, oh, man! <laughs> this part is basically... Giving, giving new life to the expression familiarity breeds content. Right. See, I've got hidden blocks there, but I let you know where they are. Yeah. You get the, uh, the coins down at the bottom to indicate. You know, it's a ghost house. I feel like... You're going to have hidden blocks anywhere that are necessary to the level. The ghost house is the appropriate venue for oh, such yeah. shenanigans. No doubt. Good timing on that one. It spat that P-switch out. Or question switch or whatever it would be called in these graphics. Pretty much right after you stomp on the first one. Yeah. Try to keep get some momentum going to hit the switch that time. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Hitting that second spin jump there will will kill you as often as not. Yeah. Uh, you don't need the spin in that one. I like that wall kick there a lot. That's uh. So you can slide down that left wall, grab those coins, and then use that right as momentum to get across that platform. Because that jump there, you make it look easy, but. It's a, it's a tough one. It's very, that, you, yeah. You, you've got to have as much momentum as possible, and you've got to hit a spin. Really narrow opening there. All right, here we go. I'm determined. If I can, just, these buzz saws, man, are just so intimidating. That's what they're there for. Make this part look easy. Uh. I feel that part feels easy for some reason compared to these buzz saws, even though it's basically the same skill you're having to employ. Beautiful. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, don't get too comfortable. This is a hover ditch wall kick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yoshi screams in terror and hatred as you throw him to his death. Yeah. It still hurts my heart to ditch Yoshi. Nearly 30 years old. Okay. Get a one up for that. Urgh. I didn't know if I was going to have to use a shell. <laughs> no, I'm not quite that mean. Or if I could wall kick, okay. The shell's just there for a. Fun little one up. I don't know how close I am. Well, that should oh, okay. be a clue. That's a, that's a definite clue. 
I don't want to step on that until I'm ready to step on that because I think those fall. Okay, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bask in this yeah, for a minute. That's what it's there yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> you want to bask in pass. the glory? But the oh, giant okay. winged Bowser's He's coming. coming for you. He's coming. Okay. Enough basking. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed or not, but he has a red blaster on his back, and he has a Hammer Brothers standing on top of that. <laughs> oh man. I, I saw the big fat Hammer Brothers. I didn't notice too much else about it. Well, hey, I tell you what, that one is definitely getting a star. Um. I would have to agree with you that I think overall it is more difficult than uh, Platformers Delight. Yeah. You knocked it out about five minutes faster yeah. than you did Platformers I, Delight. I really do think it. I was just warmed yeah, up. I really I think that's from, the case. Uh, it gives you, if nothing else, it kind of gives you a, a little bit of an insight into my style right? that I'm going with for the well, level What you're going to need here. to do. Um, and again, you know, I think some people might see a course like this and go, that's just needlessly difficult. It really isn't. Uh, if you know, like you mentioned before, if, if you're in the Platformer's Delight video, right? if you're used to holding down Y, for example, there's some little tricks you should pick up throughout the years of being a Mario fan. You always got to be holding down the run button. Uh, and particularly in this play style, if you don't know how to use the ground pound, spin jump, wall kick, the little air spin flutter thing... To grab a little extra hang time. Yeah. Uh, some of the levels are just going to evade you as far as, you know, being able to uh, to play them the way they should be played. But I like levels that require you to be able to do all that. And that's sort of the way I try to design mine as well. Is it to a point of fault where maybe I'm expecting too much from you? Maybe. Well, you know, it uh, takes all <laughs> but, kinds. Once yep. you've been playing Mario for decades, yeah, like either of us has... Uh, and you know, it gets to a point where you you yearn for a little bit more of a challenge than they're usually going to give you in these games, right? Um, which are usually on the fun side of challenging, yeah, as opposed to being on the scream into a pillow side of <laughs> challenging, yeah. The kind which of is, you know what you need sometimes. The more challenging courses you and I uh, have made, I feel like uh, they may be, you know, you can you can do a lot of kind of over the top stuff in this game mm -hmm. so you would kind of say for that reason it's not something you would expect to necessarily see in a Mario game but still the amount of challenge and the type of timing required to beat the levels kind of reminds me of like a Star Road type course Yeah, uh, a lot of people can play Super Mario World a lot of people can beat it but can you beat all the Star Road courses too and can you go and beat Tubular and you know, groovy. groovy and all those stages too. <laughs> and that's why I always like those games because they kind of had something in there for everybody. Um, now, real quick, I am going to point out while we're on this screen, at the very end there, if you look at where Bowser is on this screen, yeah. you look over to the left of all the blue platforms ah. that that pipe came out of. If you run, you can wall jump off of that little uh, floating wall there. Right. And then off the left wall again. And then there's uh, coins and a power star up there. Okay. Go ahead and let you take Bowser out. And there's a little trampoline behind him there, so you don't have to have those blue platforms to get up. Gotcha. I figure once you've made it that far, I, I've been mean enough. <laughs> We're just going to send you off with some dance lights and a bunch of red blasters launching coins at right. you. <laughs> I like it. But you did it. Once again, first person to conquer and defeat uh, the Linear Labyrinth. Yeah. And so congratulations to you for that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope everybody else enjoyed watching it. Hey, man, kudos to you for uh, making a great stage. That, that's one I can see myself just uh, randomly playing through again later uh, for fun. I might download it for offline play and uh, challenge unsuspecting visitors that come by the house to play Mario Maker. Here you go, play Linear, linear Labyrinth. That's oh, just something. Yeah. Just an easy course to kill some time with. Might be good to download it, though. That way you can have them play it in the Maker yeah, which is going to be that's true. Uh, much better for for your average customer. Yeah, indeed. Well, guys, the course ID is there. It will be in the video description as well. Uh, please check us out on social media, Facebook and Twitter. I'll leave links in the description for that. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Lots and lots of Super Mario Maker already on the channel, and lots more to come, as well as Splatoon and lots of other games. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If so, give us a quick like and subscribe. Helps us out more than you know. And uh, BK here with Mitch. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.